Hello everybody, welcome back to Arthur Next Play Star Drive 2. So, um, we got off to a fairly good start. We've got some pretty awesome planets near, near us, if we can manage to grab them before our rivals do. Um, we're going to go ahead, we got the polyps near us so far, and we probably have another empire over here, but we're going to go ahead and start it up and see what happens. So it looks like um, they are still chasing us. Okay. Hopefully we can escape them. All right, looks like we managed to escape them. Um, we're running low on fuel though, so we're gonna send them back to here to refuel before we send them, probably try and explore this star, uh, since we know that these two are both guarded. Um, in the meantime, our planets uh, this one's building soil enrichment and that one's building a star base, so there's not much we can do with them until they're done. Although it looks like we're producing more food than we need. So we can cut down a little bit on the soil enrichment time. Oh, and our freighters arrived back at Earth, so let's land everybody. Um, so... Blood Fang um, maybe he has to be damaged to increase his virility he killed a bunch of troops of units in that last fight but his virility is still only at 5% um is kind of unfortunate but um, we'll go ahead and launch them anyway oh but before we launch them we should upgrade them um, actually don't the only thing I'm really gonna change is I'm gonna give him a melee weapon instead of a ranged weapon um, other than that I'm gonna leave everything the same um, and we'll go ahead and launch Um, and I want to avoid this fleet, so I'm going to send them this way and then down um, to take care of that thing. And we got still got a bunch more turns to go before we finish the things that we're building. Uh, and this. This system appears to be guarded as well. Well, at least we explored it first. What do we have? Ooh, another Gaia with artifacts. Boy, there are a lot of uh, farmable planets. Plus one research for science. Scientists in your empire per source control. Wow, that's really good. So many good planets that are guarded. And this... Uh, that looks like the anomaly that's a shop. So we will try once again and run away. Um, and we lost that ship. Oh well. Um, well, we found out that this is not in anybody's territory yet, at least. Uh, okay, now you've gone far enough. We can send you there. Um, oh, and we grew, so now we have a food shortage. All right, let's send you... Hmm. Send you down to there, I guess. And... Go ahead and have to start producing some more food. I think that'll be enough, actually. Oh, no, because... Whoops, I went the wrong way. There we go. All right. Oh, I already knew that one. Oh, that was silly of me. 
I already knew that that one was guarded. Uh, what is this? We have not been to that anomaly yet. That's odd. I don't know how that escaped us. We're gonna have to build some more scouts. Well, this is almost done. So um, let's go ahead and build a couple more scout corvettes when it finishes. Uh, and then you can go ahead and build those. So I'm gonna build a lot of ships on this on that uh, planet. Uh, yeah, send an away team. And again, we can only deploy five troops, huh? So we'll take one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And we'll see if we can get his virility stat up by defeating troops in Mexico. Although the most likely explanation is the thing is just bugs. Alright, there's a terminal here, accessing now. Looks like security measures are online, including containment field in the main lab and an array of security drones. It looks like both security measures can be shut down via consoles. Definitely, if we can take out the drone command console on the north section of the base, we'll be able to hack the IFF and the security drones pretty easily. Looks like the containment field is controlled by a console on the south side of the base. Our mission is to clear the base of fossils and secure the central lab facility, so way too long. Alright. So... Um, wow, that is... Uh, I guess I can't turn down the volume in uh, while I'm in combat. That's kind of annoying. Uh, let's go ahead and see, where's our, we got one melee fighter here, where's our other one? The one's back here. So we'll send you up, you up to there, uh, move you over to there, that lets us move you up to here. Um, move you up to there sniper to there, and then we will end our turn. Okay, so they came up and shot at us. Um, I'm going to have you... Let's see. You are one short of your maximum, so I have to have you shoot first. Uh, so let's just have you shoot this. Then we'll have you... Um, move forward. You also charge. Well, before you move forward, we'll have you get healed. And then you can move forward. Do a free attack. Now, shoot. Oh, you're too close to shoot that? You're probably too close. So, okay, so you shoot this. Um, you shoot this. And you attack this. Get the kill. Um, you shoot this. Step forward. Attack it. Get the kill. Oh, don't. Or not. Get the kill. Oh, well. Uh, I guess you attack it and get the kill. Um, go ahead and step forward, and shoot that, and you can go ahead and move forward twice, and, but not you, alright, and so, so you got shot twice, so you can move here, use the med kit again, uh, attack, move up, Attack, attack again, get the kill, um, 25 hit points for the brutal murder of the security drone, move up, move one, up to there, wait, this is my, okay, 
Um, so now, there's no time. They're not moving towards us. There's no time pressure. So we can actually just wait for our med kits to recharge while we keep moving. Then, um, so our next goal is we got to destroy this drone console up here. So, um, we'll have you move up to like here. Our other melee guy can move up to here. And then we got ranged attacker, medic. Still not moving close to us, so in our turn again, they have a few more action points. And then, um, you up to there, you up to there, there, you up to here, and we'll be up to there. Alright, let's see if they come after us now. Nope. Okay. Um,. I wouldn't mind getting a shield up. One, two. Let's hmm. let's let's see here. Let's move you there. Move you there. Um. All right, we have to move one more. That's gonna let you move. Move four spaces and still deploy a shield. So you move to there. Deploy a shield there. Okay. Now they're probably going to come after us now. Um, let's go ahead and go. You move back. You move up. You move up. Um, actually, you move up to there. Medics up. And our turn. Okay, so the shield took some fire, which is what it was designed for. Um, so let's see. Can you shoot that guy? You. You can shoot that guy, so go ahead and do that. Alright, finish that guy off. Heal yourself back up to full. Um, shoot that guy twice. Oh, you're a melee fighter, so you can't do anything. Um, shoot that guy once. Um, you can move up and attack twice. Alright, go ahead and do that. which is going to let you activate charge and move up to this guy. Uh, and okay. So, shoot. Attack. Move up. Attack. Attack again. Kill. Back. Heal. Move up. Move up. Okay. Um. Too far.
Um, because we have to get through here, but there's a security field there, so we can't go this way. Gotta go down and destroy this console. Um, go there. So you can be out of the way. Uh, I suppose we should probably wait for our med kits to recharge. But, wow, he gets seven action points per turn. It's just crazy. Alright, um... has a two turn four and then go there go there and we'll end our turn okay so you gonna be in front you also gonna be in front and we'll have our medics Those are all green, so we can just move all the way up to the, um, the console. So, how do we get there? So we're just going to do here. these guys to soak up some attacks. So, hmm. Um, I move the medics up to behind where my melee fighter is. And the range attacker back to there. Okay. Um, so you're my medic that doesn't have a current med kit currently charged, huh? Uh, let's move you back to here. Uh, let's move you up to here. Um, let me go around that way. Okay. So let's handle this. to wait one more turn before I did that, but I guess it doesn't matter. Um, yeah. Go ahead and end the turn. So, my hazmat suits are once again keeping me from getting damaged. Um, we got a soldier, 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 and the queen back there. Okay. So let's shoot soldier. Shoot the soldier again. Um then you have a combat knife. Shoot the soldier again. Okay, you move up. Kill the soldier. Move back. Uh, let's see. Can you shoot this soldier? Yeah. Alright, shoot that soldier twice. Alright. Um, you have another shot, but that's too far. Let's just end the turn. Okay. So 
so they're wrecking this thing, which is fine, that's what it's there for. We got two soldiers, the queen, and another soldier. Okay. Hmm, I want to do this. Let's just have you attack this twice. And then you shoot this. soldier before I kill the queen. So, let's have you, because you can only attack it, attack it twice. Have you, attack it twice. You can finish it off. And then you can attack this one, two, three times. And the queen howled. <laughs> Giving action points to surrounding units. Well, that's not very helpful for the queen. All right, shoot, shoot, shoot. Uh, too close. Too close. Step. Shoot. Um. Is that too far? that? Alright, I'm going to stay up here and just shoot that. Um, step forward. Oh, I should have charged. Oh well. Attack. 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 guys can't damage me now. Um, move up. You. Did I misclick? I must have misclicked. Whoops. Trujan's left. I think I'm gonna wait and heal that guy. Oh, I finished his job off. This out of combat healing doesn't really work from what I've seen. Okay. Let's see if that um, improved his virility stat at all. I'm beginning to think it's just bugged, but we will check. You had almost gotten more than we bargained for at this ancient research base, but the psychotic droids and venom spitting aliens were no match for our troops. The research base has been abandoned for a long time. The howling winds of this tiny planetoid have broken through the walls and ruined many of the computers. Even so, what remains has provided us with a tremendous insight into our local galactic history. The race that built this facility were called the Religarians. According to the records found here, they had not, by galactic standards, been faring the stars for very long before encountering other races. 
Apparently, the Religarians were engaged in a protracted war with an empire they called the Aragar, and the Aragar were winning handily. The base was a secret weapons lab where the Religarians were experimenting with, among other things, genetically modified insectoids. It appears their experiments had got out of hand, however. It is truly a marvel to see these antlion creatures having survived what appears to be thousands of years. Their powers of stasis are incredible, though not unheard of in lesser creatures. Our study of the Queen's corpse has greatly enhanced our knowledge of biochemistry, granting us 500 research points in that field. As to the matter of the fate, final fate of the Aragar and the Religarians, we cannot tell from these records. Perhaps we can find more information on these races in our travels. All right, so we get from orbit. Um, and I guess we'll just send these guys back to Earth. So, because the system is guarded and I don't want to risk my troops, I oh, won't get too close to those guys. Um, so, yeah, we can go ahead and research these. We might as well. I don't really like skeletal engineering, actually. Um, I don't really like that either. I don't really like any of these, to tell you the truth. Um, uh, let's grab Cloning Center. running away from something oh you're going to there was an anomaly there which is now gone that's odd all right let's go ahead and end my turn all right cloning center and we have enough to get the next one of these as well um Let's grab Pollution Resequencer. <laughs> that will be pretty good on Earth, to help us keep us from polluting Earth. There's no anomaly. Oh. There was an anomaly there, and now it's down there. Let's um, not get too close to that fleet. All right, we should be far enough away now. Okay. Thanks for tuning back into the Galactic News Network. Not like you have a choice, though. Our transmitter is easily the most powerful one in the galaxy. Today's episode of Racial Profile, we continue our exploration of the galaxy's newest FTL-capable species with the profile of the Raleigh Theocracy. The Raleigh Theocracy, their stated mission is to destroy all life in the known galaxy for the glory of their Elder God, a strong philosophy to hold if they want to avoid the wipe. But underneath their slimy and evil exterior, might there be evidence of a kind and gentle people? We reached out to them for comment. Quote... The Elder God will destroy the unbelievers. He suffers not fools and worshippers of false idols. Pay us a tithe to satisfy his hunger or, or face the consequences. Perhaps not. Whatever the case, we think the Raleigh are strong contenders for this cycle's champion. Until next time, this has been GNN. Um, let's take a quick second and turn down the sound effects a little bit more. Okay. Um... So, do we have enough to get this one? No, not even close. Um, although, Brain Pal is really good. Um, but we'll go back to researching Imperial University. So, can we trade those, like, cloning centers, which is useless to us, to the, um, to the polyps? Um, yeah, what do you have? Oh, you have Aeroponic Farm, huh? Uh, they're good, expansionist, and honorable. I would kind of like Aeroponic Farm. Um, how much is that worth? 240. And that's 450. Let's give them soil enrichment. I don't want Aeroponic Farm that much, actually. What about, um... Uh, trade rights. Let's just do that. Uh, 
of course, I'm going to have to build some more freighters to make use of it. But we can do that. Um, we're one turn away from a star base here anyway, so... Build a star base. Let's build a couple of freighter fleets. And a pollution resequencer. Um, almost, and then soil enrichment still has seven more turns. Okay. And then anomaly is gone again. Now it's down here. the deal is with that thing. Um, Alright, well let's just go ahead and explore the star system. Alright, finally finished the star base. Good. Um, going to be annoying. Um, oh, those guys managed to colonize that system, huh? care about that system. Hmm. We're still controlling this one. That's good. Um, looks like we'll be able to uh, explore that system before we die. you guys safely on the planet. Uh, virility is still only at 5%, huh? Well, <laughs> I'll sign you there anyway. Uh, ooh, we found the Volfar Imperium. They're down here. If you can make it that far, probably can't, but we'll try. <laughs> Almost done with soil enrichment. Well, looks like you are going to be able to make it that far. Uh, right, we need some more freighters to deal with that. Uh, and we finished soil enrichment, so we can take a bunch of these guys uh, and build a pollution resequencer. Um, yeah, definitely want one. Go attack here. Oh, I do have a star base here, so it should be okay. Um, uh, okay, so this is the source of the red crystals. That's good to know. Um, Polyps have managed to intersperse themselves between me and the uh, Volfar. Can't say I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, we're going to need some combat ships here pretty soon. Uh, we better examine the wreckage, or perhaps corpse would be a better term, on the defeated red crystal. Examination has revealed two incredible facts. First, the entities are capable of generating their own subspace fields using some sort of resonance within the crystalline structures. But this discovery pales in comparison to our second one. These particular crystals are wired up with some sort of electronic harness. More shockingly, the harness uses components that are clearly of our own creation. Some components even bear serial numbers that can be traced to our homeworld. Clearly there's more going on here than meets the eye. It should be our top priority to discover the origin of these entities and unravel just how and why their technology is being used to agitate them into violence. Uh, okay. How much pollution are they actually generating here? Oh, quite a bit. All right, so definitely worth the pollution resequencer. Curiosity. Oh, so even though it says that's interesting. So even though he says only five percent, he has been getting the bonuses because he's currently giving me plus eighty-five percent population growth. Which is uh, a lot, obviously. Um, um, well, let's see, what are we building here? All oh, right, pollution resequencers. Okay. What pollution resequence here? What do you have? Solar armor. I don't really want solar armor. Um, no, I'll tell you what though. <laughs> I'll do I will do trade rights with you. that? Oh, you have mass drivers. So you're willing to give us maybe one technology. Mass drivers is really good. But that is such an unfair deal. I do want mass drivers. Okay. All right, we finished our pollution resequencers. So, really need to get some colony ships going. some defensive ships going too, but we also need to get some colony ships going. <laughs> and we'll build all of this first and then we'll see.
K. Corvette. Let's send it where? This anomaly just keeps moving further and further away. Um, we really want to explore in this direction. Uh, looks like we're overproducing food here. still low enough on pollution and I'm not worried about polluting our atmosphere and we're back with another episode of racial profiling you can't stop this signal and we won't stop broadcasting so enjoy this pleasant profile of the enigmatic Volfar Imperium Volfar Imperium, who are these genocidal space wolf bat things, and what do they want from the galaxy? We've reached out to their leaders to help us understand. Quote, The Volfar Imperium does not suffer interviews with foolish robots. We should kill and devour you for even asking. And there you have it, folks. Wisdom from the mouths of wolves. We'll see you next time on GNN. All right. Um, I still would kind of like to get this, but... Let's see. Creator fleet. Let's so we need like it was 16, 18, 18, 20, 22, and a scale corvette. Okay. Alright. Okay, let's send you to there. Oh, the Raleigh Imperium. Trade guild formed, good. Well, looks like they've colonized here, the Raleigh Theocracy, I should say. Hmm. <laughs> Starting to make tons of money here. Let's um, call these guys up. What do they have? Oh, they have Imperial University. I would like that. Um, yeah. Just over our tolerance. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well. The main thing I want next is class one shields so I wouldn't mind that as well I'm also going to need I'm also going to want fusion power so let's grab solar armor when we can we're still of course Producing full out, full out pirates. Um, they want five percent tribute, huh? No, I don't think so. Um. them 
any technology. These guys are going to attack these guys. That would be awesome if they actually get that far. Um, Alright, let's go over there. Move that colony ship. Uh, and you now you're building another one that's firing. Aquatic leader. Farming, production, and research on oceanic worlds. And half this on Gaia and Terran worlds. Um, and shield master. Oh, he'll give me class 2 shields for free? Well, not for free, for 350 BC. Um, yeah, I will absolutely hire him and pick up class. Well, let's see, class 2 shields. I've seen them before. They're actually not as strong as class 1 shields, but they are more efficient would let me start building some military ships pretty much immediately. Um, Alright, I will take him. I don't have any oceanic worlds, but um, what I can do is assign him down here and then assign him to there. So I'll lose the population growth on Earth, but I'll get it on the other system. And Earth is already up to 14 anyway. Um, can I do that? I can. Uh, okay. And I'm going to want to colonize this fairly quickly as well. And also that. So lots more colony ships. Not much research going on, but that's okay. Um, soon enough. Okay. Is this the one I wanted to colonize? I guess I do want to colonize that because I want the delicacies. Um, but And I want the extra territory to keep these guys away. But it's probably not actually the best planet. <laughs> oh well. Um, it'll be a good research planet for me. <laughs> um, so we need an automated rover bay. Um, and we're going to need a star base, soil enrichment, and we're going to want that too. Um, all right, those are my leaders. Um, so let's go tow that asteroid in. It's a pirate. All right, we'll send you back down that way. Even though it looks like we don't have a lot of territory, there's enough good planets in the territory that we do have that we should be okay. Um, um, let's see, the delicacies, yeah, are already giving us an approval bonus here, which is really, really helpful. Um, Let's see, I think I'm going to send a freighter, a spare freighter, to send a person down there. Uh, Imperial University. 
Alright, I will accept that deal in order to become better friends with you. Uh, actually, oh, I think I'd rather have this. they killed that. Now they're going to be a real, real annoyance uh, until I get some military ships. Well, I'm pretty close to building military ships. Um, probably here. over here. Hmm. They're certainly doing their best to cut me off. Uh, do I have three? I have three scout corvettes in this fleet? Why did I do that? That's a mistake. Uh, okay. Now we can afford five freighters for ten turns. We'll tow that back in. Um, what are they actually sending after me? <laughs> hmm. That is not good. Um, All right, well, let's see what we can do about that. Um, but that will have to be in our next episode. So we're going to have to um, quickly try and build at least one defensive ship. With a the star base there, I'm not actually super, super worried about that. But it is concerning. <laughs> um, we'll go ahead and have you colonize there. So um, thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the episode, please consider liking the video. And, of course, join us next time when we will try and defend ourselves from this Volthar fleet. Uh, have a terrific day, everybody. Bye.